How's it going everyone? My name is Swingpoint and this is the final episode of The Crooked Man. And the ending to this game was amazing. Love it or hate it, I know you will appreciate the ending to this game because it was so, so emotional and heart-wrenching and it's it's something that's really going to make your feels bone pop out of your body. So I'm gonna leave it at that, sit back, relax, and enjoy this final episode of The Crooked Man. Hey, hey Dave. Woo! Stay away, he's got the gun! Oh no no David no 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 David no 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 David David you 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 David no no David don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it I'm I'm hopeless I keep walking but I see nothing I'll never ever be happy I'm a crooked man no matter what that's what I'll be there's only things I'll have oh oh what are you seeing oh god that's a crooked man to David David what's that's agony living is agony nothing will go how I want it. It's right here, right now. David! Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Oh god! Punch him! Ah, poof! Woohoohoo! There we go. Ow! 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 Damn, monster, get away from David! Oh, am I punching the monster? What? What is going on? What? what? Stop! What? Ow! I beat the shit out of him! Yeah! What is going on? That hurts! Stop it, you moron! S snapped out of it? David, <laughs> you back with us? What? T don't say that like I went nuts. What? Well, you totally went nuts. I've been saying from the start. See, the crooked man has been in his mind the whole time. This whole thing has been the in his brain. Like hell! If that's the kind of thing that you do when you're saying I have to beat you up to you promise not to. <laughs> Uh, now, about the stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that's happened. Oh, let's just sit and have a smoke and talk about it. Hmm. Sissy. D. Fluffy. So yeah, Paul saw all of them. And that crooked monster. <laughs> Paul just beat the living shit out of the crooked man right off of David! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's that's my cult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. It's don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Mary never believe me. Jeez. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy, <laughs> Sissy and D, they wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness. They sort of stick around in places. More of your cult shtick. You seriously making fun of me for the cult after this? Just listen up, no jokes. So you've added pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I, I had this strange feeling. From you, from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me. Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of. Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from the stuff that he left. Plus, that was all the stuff you could identify with. <clears throat> so what would you think of a guy who was a spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? You'd like him, right? I don't know, you totally- Oh! Do you remember earlier- Oh god, I hope I kept it in the playthrough. Earlier there was... In the book... When we were with D, there was a book that mentioned about split personalities and how you can find someone just like you and you can hate them and you can love them at the same time you can like them. That's part of what makes us human. That was written in one of the books earlier. It was in the reference room or something like that. That's what they're talking about right now. They're referring back to that. I'm guessing both. Same as him. See? 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 Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? And the crooked man wouldn't kill him. What? See, yeah, these people- Yep, 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 I get it now, I get it now, I get it now! Yeah, beca yeah, because the part of him that likes himself is all the people that he relied on. He always felt so good after helping those people. And then the crooked man was just his bad side that he hated. He hated people like him. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe the crooked man is David, but maybe the crooked man was the guy who left all the stuff. He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you. So he was seeking your help. Unconsciously. And that's why you met those people. 
That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. You were seeking his. He helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Huh? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? It's an address. <laughs> I don't think it's that far. Of course there's an address! It's always an address! I'm going. I have to meet him. Can Paul come with? You could always not. <laughs> what if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. At least he wants us to be done with. Right? David? I'm going with you. you come back to us safe. I don't want to- I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I- I know. Thanks. Wow. Good guy, Paul. Hmm. Scene four. Well, that was really quick. Scene four. Central Hospital, Paul, end. Wow. Okay, well, let's continue on, I guess. I think I did that right by punching him. I don't know why that works, but it's- Oh, of course it's abandoned. Why are they always abandoned? This is the place for sure. Could this be his house? I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> Guy? Hello? Excuse me, can can I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around going for a stroll? Uh, no, actually. Um, who lives here? Do you know them? Uh, oh, you mean Mrs. Mc Mrs. McGahan? McGahan? Someone named McGahan lives here. Not anymore, Mrs. McGahan passed away last year. This house has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house, it is. Oh. Yeah, I think she had a son. Wish he'd just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, I've never seen him. I'm, I've only moved here a few years back. And I heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. The, the apartment a ways away was probably the apartment that David's living in now, right? That makes sense. Yeah, that's room 205. That's all? Well, I gotta be home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, that totally makes sense because the apartment is where we moved into. Now, the question is, why did the guy just take off and leave? So right in the beginning, this guy that we're trying to find left. Wait, I have a key. But I have a bloody key, right? I have a bloody key. I have a bloody key. Right? No! <laughs> yeah! Brilliant! What's in here? Oh, it sounds a little creepy in here, David. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Oh god, that ambience, that ambience, that ambience, that ambience. Oh, oh god, where am I looking? Where am I? Oh god, oh god, oh, what is this? What is this? A big gash on the wall. Oh god. Oh, looking around, looking around. The scene of the cleaning equipment, the junk, and damaged floor, cobwebs. Note. What's the note say? The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't settle my heart in the end, my festering heart, when part of the paper is torn. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Are we gonna find the guy dead? We might. Oh, there's notes everywhere, and this place is just a... Just torn apart pigsty. Let's see what this says. Scrap of paper from a notebook. I recall the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse. It was all just crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has so meaning. Has no meaning. Excuse me. Well, these two are definitely two peas in a pod. David and this guy. But... Alright, well, we looked around, and let's see if there's- what's up here now. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? What's this? Fallen radio? Note. <clears throat> Found a scrap. Why? 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 No, 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 that's it? That's all it says. Why would you write no that many times on a piece of paper? Scrap from a notebook. Out of cigarettes, I need a smoke. That's all it says. It's in here. I got all sorts of readable materials. Books- Oh, whoa! You see that? A pile of books on law. Yep, 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 yep. A black covered notebook. What does this say? What? The rule in this notebook matches up to the scraps I have. Oh, we found the notebook! Combined all the scraps, got a notebook. There's a name on the back. Duke. D? Duke? Maybe? Duke McGahan. McGahan, McGuhan, McGuhan. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> oh, I can hear crying. There's almost nothing on the desk. A deflated volleyball sits on top. I like volleyball. I like volleyball. I like volleyball. <laughs> Let's save. Let's just save. Let's go talk to Duke. Duke? How you doing, Duke? <laughs> you in here, Duke? Oh, no, not him again! 
What's up, Duke? What's up, Duke? Is he crying? Oh, you're, the crooked man's name is Duke. How cute. Ugh. Don't. I don't want to be by him. Oh, what's up? Oh, that's a new scream. Oh, you learned how to talk a little bit more. That's cool. Hey, crooked man. I can't end up like you. He's up there, isn't he? That's... Then... Then I'll be going there. With my gun, I guess. This will be the end. Are you gonna kill him? Are you gonna kill him? Oh, we kill Oh, we gotta kill the cooking man, I guess. Okay, well, let's take care of this. Yeah! Oh my god, I thought I was done with this douche! Go! Oh my god! Oh, the scream hurts me! It does kinda hurt a little bit. Oh! Uh, oh, no, wrong. Missed, 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 missed. Ow! No, oh, no, 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 you're so fast, you're so fast. Oh, I hate us. Is that it? Oh my god, I can't take the screaming anymore. Oh wow, the crooked man's crying. That's creepy. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Oh, that's the creepiest cry ever, crooked man. Uh, I'm not going to be like you. You failed to catch me. As much misery as I may encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone! Poof. Oh, there he goes. Hey, it's the heavenly light showing. It's, it's, there's chirp, birds chirping in the background now. How corny. <laughs> well, let's go upstairs and see if he's here. There's a door to the attic. I might be able to pry it open. Sup, dude? It's about time we meet. Is he dead? Hey, Duke. Looks like he's hanging there. Sure enough. Oh, wow, he's been dead for a while. You don't look like that unless you've been dead for a long time. Wow. Hey, Duke. You, you detested me. Though I lived such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down? So you called me. No, it's not right. You wanted to help me. To tell me. Don't come the way I've come. Hmm. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place. So, now, you can rest in peace. Watch ending, of course! <laughs> wow, must have been rough, David. Finding a corpse on your trip? I wonder if... It said there was one piece missing from the notebook that I found. I wonder if I didn't find a piece and if the ending would have been different. But it sounds like you ended up alright. I'll go make some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, it felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd take the same path. Thinking of it that way, you really did save me. Oh, he's such an easy target, aren't you? That's why he got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. I shot the crap out of him. <laughs> Shirley? Hello? Huh? Oh, okay, I'll head right there. Oh no, the mom. The mom! The mom! Hey, David, what's up? Who is it? It's the hospital. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God, what's the news? Mom's condition took a turn. Bird the better? They're going to have to do the operation. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To take my bike, it'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Who? Doctor! Doctor? My mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's the only family I have. Please, sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Of course you're going to, you what you don't always. Okay? Oh boy, oh boy. 
No, but this is gonna sit and wait. What you got for me, Doc? <laughs> what you got for Doc? Doctor? My mom? Oh, the tumor was successfully removed, but is she alive? She's still sleeping now. You might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. Okay, well, let's just see what happens, I guess. <clears throat> oh, God. She looks like a skeleton. Oh, oh, she's awake. Aha! David? Mom! Mom! Oh, my God! You woke up, you really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You, you helped me open my eyes. Mom? I was so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. After all the hardship I'd given her, I foolishly doubted that I wasn't loved. I thought I wasn't loved. I wasn't needed. That's, that's why I... You hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as a son has, was my greatest happiness. You're talking in past tense. You're not dead. Stop acting like you're dead. Don't focus on the sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness things hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Yeah, sure, sure, just a second. She's gonna be dead when you walk back in. She's gonna be dead. She's gonna be dead. She's gonna be dead. She's gonna be dead. She's gonna be asleep. She's gonna be dead. Boom. Yep. Yep. She's dead. She just died. She just died. Called it. Called it! Here you go, Mom. Mom? Damn, dude. Mom. Why aren't the nurses and doctors just barging in here right now with the, the paddles? You kidding me? Oh god, that's funeral bells. Oh no. Man. She's got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. Damn, dude. Gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. <laughs> I'm gonna live without blaming myself. Those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. <clears throat> if I can still be smiling in the end. <laughs> wow. Hey, David. Hey, it's Marion. Marion? Why are you, uh... What are you doing here? Is that Shirley? <laughs> oh, God, this bitch. Shirley, who why are you? What? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiving you. How dare you give David the call? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Did you give a titty twister? Him, we're going. <laughs> Stop pinching me. What's gonna go on here? She looks pregnant. David, I heard about your mother. It's good he came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so so I bet she's glad. Thanks, David. I was anxious. I'm unsure of where I'm going. I'm worried that the road I'm walking will be full of twists and turns. Maybe I did need your kindness. You never let me down. But how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but uh... David? If it's okay with you, would you, would you like to... David? I'm sorry, please don't cry. <laughs> no, I'm not sad. I'm just uh... Even though my <laughs> dreams were crushed. <laughs> <laughs> and I just lost my only family. I'm just so happy you came back. <laughs> it's okay, Shirley. However off kilter things get, we'll set them straight. I promise you. David? <laughs> you know what I think? A crooked man. <laughs> Had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. <laughs> I'm 
Rest in peace, Duke. <laughs> he, gave, he gave him some cigarettes. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Till then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye-bye, Blackbird. I wonder if that's the only good end, or if there's a better end, or a true end, but... That was a pretty good ending. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wow. Credits! Wow! That was a really good game. The story was... It was a very long story, but how it all came together was so cool. Is You could kind of tell what was coming. But it didn't... They still did such a good job on delivering it that it, it really... It really hits you in the feels bone real good. I guess that's where the feels bone hangs out. <laughs> Wow. I wonder if he was called the Crooked Man because his neck was crooked from when he hung himself. Anyway, that was a very good game. I really liked it. I, I can't believe I waited this long to play this game. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was, but I, I'm really glad that we we took the time to play through it. So thank you guys for sitting and going through this playthrough with me. It really means a lot that your support is means the world to me, and it, it, it's what keeps this channel going. So thank you so much. Suggest more games do down below. Thank you for playing the Crooked Man, and congrats on the good ending. This is an extra page. You'll lose the page if you quit, so I recommend making a save. And you can begin a second playthrough here. About the second playthrough. The door at the top leads to the second playthrough. There's no change in story, battles, or choices, but some events near the ending change. Please try it if you're interested. Second play will be indicated. Playthroughs three and up have no changes. About the game. The impetus to create the game came from a strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Writing it all would be too long of a story, unfortunately. The game is less scary than the game Paranoiac, but I considered having more action in this one. The author would be delighted if you enjoy it, and again, thank you for playing. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's all I got. Thank you once again for watching. Maybe, maybe I'll do the ending again, who knows. But, that's all I got for now. You guys are the best. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode of whatever we do around here. Meow. Goodbye! I told you oh, oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry! How's it going everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and this is a game called The Witch's House. I'm super excited to play it. Let's get straight into it, and I can talk to you guys while we are...